So hello everyone, welcome back to Programming Knowledge. In today's video, we are going to create a reusable widget into Flutter. What are reusable widgets? Like into our applications, most of the time we follow the same same button style throughout the program, or we use the same card style, or we use the same text fields, or we use the same text style for throughout the program or throughout our application so every time defining them every time making the same design for it it is like quite a tough job or so instead of that we can create a widget and after creating it we can use it several times so we don't have to design every time so let's just without wasting any time let's move on to our today's topic so over here. so just for the this is the basic structure i have created uh in the i am using i am going to use the device preview to view the screen and let's just run it till then and similarly i am using the it is a basic structure of our application and in the straightforward widget i have used a column into a scaffold and it will take the data in the children and the whatever the main access alignment main access alignment single space evenly right now so let's just see this till then go to lib folder create another directory it is based on you if you want you can create it i am going to name it widgets let's now go to the adaptive design over here this is a basic structure now i am going to remove the banner also for now so debug show check mode banner let's just false it and also give the color white and save it and now go to screen this is our empty screen and this is perfect now what we want of course we want one more thing which is important that is app bar and we are going to use the app bar background color blue accent and we need the title title will be the text and we will name it to widgets and the color the style will and the text style and the color will be white and one more thing what we want to do is to center the title and let's just make it true so let's save it go to the design and now you can see a basic structure is ready now over here we are from here we are going to start how we can make a widget into a flutter which will be reusable so just go to the widgets folder create a new data file there is two approaches to do this so i am telling you the first one how you can use the widgets so let's just say ki i will make the text widget based on my app style and let's me just make it the custom text we'll name it custom text and it will extends the stateless widget you can extend both of the widgets i am using the stateless widget just extend it create one override method then over here don't return the scaffold this time return the text this time simple this much you have clear okay and over here now you are going to need a constructor so the constructor is also ready now what are the attribute you are going to need you will define over over here remove the constant because you won't need it the very first content the very first content we need is value so value is in define let's just design the define the value it will be of string type let's just find the value and inside this method we are going to write this dot value and this value field is required without this the text won't be created so just let's add the it and over here now we are going to give the style and the text style what will be the text style let's very first give the color and the color will be 
give the color blue for now and import this also after that give the font size and I am going to give the font size 20 this is my app will require I am making it in such a way that what my app will require I will make that and let us give the font weight just assume I am making it for the logo part of my app so let us save it up now come on to the main dot dot and over here we are we will create one text file and we will just write uh, something hello and just uh, we have parts the textile and the color I want red so now if I want another widget okay I want the world widget also so I will write the world this time and now what I will I will again write the style the textile because my app needs the red color widget so of course I will use I will define the, it every time I, I need it right so unless I give it so I have to define it totally. go to the screen and now you can see there is so um, now I also want the both of the text sh size should be added like should be increased so if I am using the font size and giving it 20 and saving it and going back so this text size increased but this isn't so how to do that of course you have to go over here and use the font size and again go to the 20 and let's just edit so this is the way you can create but this is not the proper way of doing this things like of course written we don't like redundancy in our code so what you are going to do over here in the text sign you can use the custom text which you just created simple it will take one value what is the value let's just pass the hello and you want the two text right so before that let's just save one and go through the design now you can see a first page it has the font size increased also the font weight increased also and the blue color also by default it get the blue color the font size increased and the font weight also now but we didn't pass anything over here it is defined in the text widget only so like one we can do one more thing if we want for another text like i want the world also now so let's just write world and save it and now you may see that we get both of the widgets onto the same way and now also what you can do so but there is one issue what's the issue i want to increase the text size more like it's not it is still small for me so what i will do i will go to the text widget and over here i am going to write 24 and save it but one more thing i only made the changes for hello right like uh, i have changed only one time but i have two widgets so i have to change for both of them so let's see see the both of the text widget size increased so this is the benefit of reusable widgets whenever you want on the whichever page you want you can just call the custom widget a custom text and you can get that method so let's assume let's this was a text for text let's make one more and this time we will make a contain now let's just i will call it a box what is the thing let's let's call it custom box mixed in with stateless widget now you guys will think okay why i am making a container and how we why we need the container over here like of course it depends on your application do you need or not but just assume if you need a box which has the border or which has the a proper, a proper amount of color every time let me show you return container i need the container and the height and width is not defined yet. so let's just make it height width and both of these are double so i'm going to use double h w and both of the field are required so let's just use this dot w this dot height and also add a required keyword add a required keyword so both of this field will be required now and i will pass one decoration 
in the decoration will be box decoration and what I need I want the border radius border radius to 0 and I want the border border dot all and want the color a slight red one and the width will be 2 now what I want one I want one more thing and that is color again I want the color white so let's just save it it is saved now in my main dart file I want to encapsulate this custom text into one widget so what you can do just cut this and call our custom box which we just created custom box okay we forgot one thing what is that thing that box will also take one child right then only we can encapsulate anything right so let's just pass the child and the child is a widget so over here you can write the widget and if you don't know what type of data you required you can also use the var this dot child and it is also required so on to the main dot data you can pass the width I am passing the width 250 and uh, I am passing the height 250 and the child the child will be the custom text which I just copied and let's just save it and go to the screen now you can see its box appeared the box which we required now I want to make it center how you can make the basic method like just click alt enter over the text and make it center so it is in center now in future applications like I want a box but not of this side now I want a rectangle box so you can get that also using this custom box because you wrote that height and width we will take from the user of course so now I am taking the width and this time I required the width should be 125 and the height should be 250 and the child this time the child will be a custom text and the hello and this the word so this is done let's just go it again now you can see we get the rectangle and we can do the same like the width this time the width should be 250 and the height should be 125 and this done so this is the way you can similarly the way I have created for the text or for a container you guys can also create for the buttons like we have the button one let's just call it button and let's just call it the custom button which will extend stateless widget and let's just over here now first decide design like we will be needing a callback what will callback do it is a of course it is a method and we will require a string so we'll require a string and in the string will be the text value of the button and callback is the on press method like what will be do on the on click of the button and we also require icon why icon I will tell okay done now we require to create a override method let's just create one more method and uh, over here write this dot callback we also require the this dot value and we also require the this dot icon now whatever the thing will do like by default whenever you see in like whenever we take the elevated button okay this we are going to design the elevated button return elevated button okay so on press of it we are going to pass the callback call and on the child now you know it Okay, whenever we create the elevated button we can like we have to pass like by default it only give us a text option to enter the text right like the widget name is in the like button name is always in the text form 
like we can design of course we can use the row method and all but uh, you know it okay it is a very complex and repeating the same thing again and again it is like not the convenient approach to make it and it is not efficient also like to repeat your coding every time so see now one more thing now i am going to show you like how you can do one more thing and that is okay you can use the use your custom widgets into another widget your button is already a custom widget and now you are using another widget which is a custom so this is possible you can make it. but over here i don't need that so i am just using it though as a value and over here i am going to use the icon and over here the icon will be taken and I want to give the size box and the width should be 10 dp. And there is one error. Let us is icon data. Okay. So over here we can write the icon data so it will get solved. Now this is done. So this will return us the child like which will take also take and you can also add one more thing that is type. Elevated button style, elevated button dot style from background color. Let's give it a primary color blue accent and the text which are going to use over here text style, text style, give us the color white. And over here, you can also create this color white. So, this is totally completely based on you. How you are designing your widget so this is how i designed my widget this is how i designed my button according to my app requirement you can you guys can also do the same and just save it so we get the elevated button so now after this like i don't require the anything now let's just call the custom button and this time we require the callback so on callback we don't want anything but on the value we want click me or in the icon part we want the icon data icon data is basically icon dot and we want to like use the click one and inside the method let's just print and that is clicked simple Go to a home, go to a page. You can now see that the click me page is ready. Now let's click on click me and if the terminal printed the click, see it is printed, which means our app is working fine. The widgets we created is working fine. So now you can see that how we can create a reusable widgets every time we need in the application. And you can access these widgets onto any application. So, this is how we can create the reusable widgets into an application. So, that's it for today's video. Thank you.